This is a brand new Civic Type R and it costs just about $50,000. This is a 1995 Civic. Jimmy, where's my umbrella? <laughs> that we spent over $50,000 modifying. So today we're putting these Civics head to head to see if spending thousands of dollars and countless man hours on our graveyard Civic was worth it or we should have just bought this instead. We're gonna see how they handle the city streets, the canyon roads, and finally, we're gonna go head to head in a track battle. Welcome to Donut. I don't have an umbrella. Jimmy, get Nolan an umbrella! The last time we saw the Civic, it was having some issues. The engine was randomly dying while driving out on the street, but we think we found the issue, a loose ground wire. We reconnected it, and so far everything seems fine, so we're ready to hit the streets. All right, Nolan, so over the last year, Joby, yourself, and some of the boys have done a good amount of work on this car. We started with spoon brakes on this thing. We put a drag cartel independent throttle body intake on it. We spent $10,000 on this interior. We put AC and power steering it. I mean, just anything you could do to a Civic, we've done it to this car short of all-wheel drive and turbo or turbo. whatever. We built this car with the express goal of beating that Type R yeah. at the track, at Streets of Willow, and we're gonna do it later in the video, but let's talk a little more about one of our favorite cars here at Donut. You know, we bought this thing kind of as a joke for our first review of the Civic Type R, and it really grew on us. So yeah, with the interior, we put, like I said, $10,000 worth of upgrades in here. It's got an Alcantara headliner, very nice. Alcantara sunshades. These seats are Recaro SR3s, which are uh, it cost about 2,500 bucks. We had them redone in this yellow to match the valve cover. I think that really puts the whole car together, you yeah. know? Auto powered cage behind us. Harnesses that we're not wearing right now because you want to have your seat belts on the street, not a harness. It's got the sweet uh, Narita dogfight steering wheel. It's getting a little warm in here. Let's turn on that AC a little bit. Oh, that's yeah. right. We have an AC install. That's right. It's the ultimate EG, really. Aside from the body on the outside, which is still a little rough on purpose, right. like, what more could you want from this? It was the perfect car for us to find and make into this, you know? Right. Like, it was yeah. just on the edge of going to the graveyard, and I feel like we saved it and helped preserve a piece of tuner history right here. Such a good feeling. This thing could have been literally in the trash, and it's just a fun car to drive. It really is. So, with all that in mind, let's see how the Civic Type R treats the streets. All right, here we are, Jerry, in the 2023 Civic Type R. I love this car. I'm just to say it right off the bat. We've reviewed it before. We've had it a year ago. This car holds a special place in our heart. Yes. We're Honda boys. I think I really fell in love with Hondas in this car. As we're driving on the highway here, one of the first things that you noticed is how nice this interior oh, is. Oh yeah, let's talk about that first. The interior of this thing, I love so much. It's really nice to be in. Yeah. These seats really hold you in. It really takes, I think, a lot of inspiration from German interiors in here. It's very straightforward, very premium feeling. This car costs about $50,000. If I was spending that kind of money, I think I'd be satisfied because of some of the other creatures your comfort to get. You know, we just completed the build on our EG, and I think it's pretty well portioned, but this has a lot of features that it doesn't. One, the wireless CarPlay. Two, seats that actually do hold you in. These do a better job. These seats are phenomenal. It has a wireless charger. Um, oh, that's cool. This Civic has back seats. Yes. How about that? Yeah. Our EG doesn't have that because we took them out. Well, because where that car is going, you don't need back seats. Yeah, that's true. This car is a lot quieter than the Civic as well. But, you know, if someone's looking for a more raw experience where you're hearing that exhaust all the time, you might miss it a little bit. It can go get a little wild and crazy if you want, which is where we're headed, Nolan. Oh. But before we do that, I think we probably need to hop in a Civic 30 years older and get a fair shakedown. All right, Nolan, so we're gonna be driving through the canyons here, the Malibu yes, canyons. And you know what's helping us out on these little canyon roads is our $4,000 worth of suspension upgrades to put on this thing. We've yeah. got field coilovers. We've also got a bunch of uh, upgraded control arms to help us dial in the suspension geometry. We got a bunch of Cusco parts on this. And we got the cross tower strut braces. These spoon brakes feel really good. They're massive improvement over the stocks. Oh yeah. The calipers are great. They look cool. A lot of street cred. What's great about this thing is it's, it, you know, the engine sounds great, it's very stiff. You feel like you're going a million miles an hour, but you're going a respectable speed that yeah. feels fun. It's way more fun to drive a slow car fast than drive a fast car slow. Absolutely. Oh boy. <laughs> Love 
loving it, baby. The good news is our $500 Civic seems totally fixed and it's running great. We're gonna take it to the track later to see which car is faster. But in the meantime, let's take the Civic Type R through the same canyon roads. <laughs> Enough of the streets. Let's put this thing into sport, dude. Whoa! Look at that, just railing corners. Now sport mode changes the handling characteristics of a car, and it does that by changing the suspension. So these are adaptive shocks. So with adaptive suspension, there's an actuator inside your shock that's changing the diameter of the holes in that piston. So the bigger the hole, the more fluid can go through. That allows the car to be a little bit more comfortable, more plush. But now, when you're going through a canyon like we are now, you wanna have a little bit more tighter feel. So that actuator, closes those holes down, makes it for a more racy feel. Now, outside of the suspension, another thing that's super important is your tires. And these have some of the best tires you can get out there for a streetcar. Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. If there's a word I could just use to describe how this car makes me feel, it's confident. I'm not the best driver in the world, but I feel like it behind the wheel of this thing. Which is such an important factor that often gets taken for granted. And you know, when you're driving these canyons, you just want to feel like you can be a little bit of a race car driver. Oh, relax. <laughs> wow, dude, holy. Are you <laughs> kidding me? This car is awesome! <laughs> we didn't call up Honda to say, hey, can we borrow the Civic so we can compare it in the canyons? We gotta go out to Streets of Willow and see how our $50,000, $500 Civic compares to a brand new Civic Type R. All right, we're finally here. Yeah. We're at the track, we're at Streets of Willow. So, it's time, finally, to battle the EG versus the new Civic Type R. First, we gotta talk about what's powering our beast. Yeah, we got a K20A in That's this bad right. boy. So this car came with a D15, 1.5 liter engine, engine zero to 60 in 15 seconds. It was slow, but we swapped in that K20. Now it does zero to 60 in about five seconds. Woo! Making about 230 horsepower. Now she rips the 9,000 RPM. We really turned this thing from like the crummiest a true $500 Civic to a track monster. Some heat building up in here. <laughs> Jared, you're in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this thing. So this has got the K20C1 engine, four cylinder, it's got VTEC, but now we have forced induction. This sucker's got a turbo. It makes 315 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque. We have 30 years of Japanese technology put into this oh, new K20C1 engine. You feel it. I mean, we have 100 more horsepower going through this engine now with that turbocharger and the torque steer is almost non-existent. Yeah. Uh, that used to be like a trademark thing of front wheel drive hot hatches. Yeah. But now with the differential engineering and other systems on board, it's kind of negligible now. Right. Pretty cool. Woo! All right, Nolan, here's the deal. Enough about engine specs and horsepower and feel. We came here to see if our EG Civic can even be in the same ballpark of the new Type R. It's time, Nolan, the final battle between a marvel of engineering with billions of dollars in engineering money behind it and a couple of guys who built the Civic in a garage <laughs> as a joke. <laughs> I like those odds. All right, it all comes down to this. This has been months of work, tons of videos, uh, just tons of love and sweating in this car. But here we are, the final battle. It's raining, we don't care. We gotta know, is the EG better than a Type R? Oh, it's got a feel for a car that has engine that runs like a bat out of hell while it's raining. Despite our confidence, we're still having some issues. For one, the track is way too slippery. The new Civic gives you all kinds of help with traction, but our $500 Civic can't. But there's an even more concerning issue. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Turns out the engine is having issues again. We thought we fixed it, but we didn't. But you know what? We didn't spend a year and fifty thousand dollars on this Civic for it to die in the rain. So we're gonna need to come back another day. All right, we're back. Last time we were here, we didn't give the Civics a fair shake. So today is the day. Bonus, we got Justin and Joby here. Let's get after it. Get these tires warmed up. Yeah, this thing feels good. Does it feel good? It's not very dramatic though. Jerry, no matter what car he's in, he's gonna give it his all. So we're gonna see some good numbers out of this Type R right here. Jerry, let's see what that thing can do. 2483 was the best time we just put down there. How was it, Jerry? It was just like I envisioned it. What did the timer say? What at 124.83? Enough of this thing. Let's let's see what our car can do. Yeah. This is a race car. Way better than that other piece of junk. Very hard to take off there. A little loud in here. Oh. Huh? We're on a real hot thing. We've been working on this car for a year straight, and it all comes down to this. We're gonna finally see if all that work, all those blood, sweat, and tears can beat a Type R. Look at that line, all the way to the line. Oh, man. Very well done, Jer. Come on, baby! just t-shirts and hats anymore because Donut has officially launched our workwear line at Zoomies. We've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. Give you guys real workwear to do real work. It's officially available at every Zoomies store across North America. And I'm really, really stoked to say that it is perfect. I love it. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. Go to the mall, go to Zoomies, get yourself some Donut workwear, and then go work with your hands. Not bad. Not bad, old Joby, girl. Good job. Hey, same you built, serious, you right? built a good car. Wow, for once. <laughs> How was it? What's the time? Well, it was a lot of fun, which is the important thing. 126.44. Was the Type R faster? Technically. Technically. So maybe it's about a second and a half slower than the new car. This sounds better. Yeah, it sounds a lot it's way better. more fun. It's yeah. got a lot more RPMs. Okay, you have $50,000. You can go out and buy you a Type R or you can build a $500 car with your buddies <laughs> and have the experience of a lifetime, but be a little bit slower around a track and worse in the streets. Easy choice going <laughs> yeah. with the old car. All right, thank you guys so much. Leave a comment down below if you think we should do some more with this car. Go to donutmedia.com, get you some merch, or go to any Zoomies in North America, or go to Blue Tomato. Thank you guys, we love you. Civics forever! Bye -bye.